All right, guys, for those of you that use Sam Broadcaster and you're using the request system, um, and most of us are probably using the HTML version, the PHP version is, of course, the best version. Um, it just, just works better. Um, but the HTML version, basically, it prints out about 27 pages from zero to Z. And a person has to click on the first letter. They have to click on the first letter of the artist's name. And then they have to scroll through the list to find the artist they're looking for. Well, I've been working for the past month or so, uh, coming up with a way to do this using a search function. Um, now the, it is PHP. However, it does not have to connect to your Sam broadcast machine. There are some things you will have to do on your Sam broadcast machine. And of course there will be a video, uh, with instructions on how to install this. Also, you already need to have the FTP working, um, Sam FTP working. So if you have not done that, you can go ahead and do that. There is a video on this site or on the webscriptstore.com as well as on YouTube on how to set that up. And then once you set that up, then when you purchase this system, you're going to be able to upload that to that folder and you will be ready to rock and roll. Then you can iframe this into your website. Now my website that I'm on right here is a, this is a WordPress site. Um, and so in the editor, I am iframing the request system into a page. So my members, they come here, they log in. And now instead of having multiple pages with everything listed on it, they can actually search for who they're looking for. You can search using one word. I'll use my name. And this system is going to bring back the search results with everything with the word Roderick in it. And as you can see, um, uh, this guy's name is Broderick, but the word Roderick was found in it. And of course you'll find me. Okay. So let's do another search. Let's do a search, um, with just my name in quotes first and last name. So when you're doing dual, dual, uh, word keyword search, you can do two words up to two words. If you put it in quotation marks, it'd be more specific. Okay. And that narrows it down to, uh, just that particular person you want. I want to do Kirk Franklin. Now, if I do Kirk Franklin without quotations, I'll get results for both Kirk and results for Franklin. So that's the Franklin. Uh, that's the Kirk and the Franklin. But if I just need just Kirk Franklin, then I would need to put it in quotes. Okay. And so it will look for songs, artists, or album titles that have the word Kurt Franklin in it. As you notice, this artist has got property. Uh, it's the song. He will take the pain away, but the word Kurt Franklin is in the album title. And that's why it pulled that. And then of course, uh, you can request it and it will go through audio realm. All right. You will be able to get this system, um, real soon. You can order it pre-order it right now and I'll let you know when it's ready. Again, this system does not have to connect to your database in order to search for the songs in your database. Uh, it's a little workaround that I've done that allows it to do that without even having to connect to your database. Um, this is powerful. This is what everybody's been wanting. I've been wanting it. That's why I built it. It works. I love it. I hope my listeners and my members will love it. I know you will enjoy it as well. Thanks.